you're a musician and you have speaking problems. Is that That's true? why he raps. It uses a different part of the brain, so he can get his thoughts out that or way. Or did you just pull that out of your ass? Yeah. Totally. <laughs> can... I think it's wild. true. Welcome to the Forum Thread Podcast number 34. Here with us today we have Mr. Fusion. Good evening, everybody. Ray. Hello. Chaos Mana. Hello. Nobod. Hey, everyone. And the special guest appearance of Barbara. Hello. Or howdy, as I like to say on some other podcasts. Howdy, y'all. Howdy. Oh, we can't be original? Nope. No, there's no originality here allowed here. When it comes to you, there's nothing original, Nobod. Oh, really? Oh, we know. Wow. Really? Off to the really? races here. Are you I'm, saying I'm, to the I'm guy on... who makes dubstep? I'm on. Fu- <laughs> yeah, and what are you sampling, <laughs> Kanye? Who's Wait, are you is... bragging about making dubstep? <laughs> he is. Are you bagging on me about making dubstep? <laughs> fight, fight, fight. He's calling himself like number two in his region or whatever. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. Right I gotta now. ask. No, but explain the whole ranking thing again. What no, it what it is? Don't do it. How you get ranked? No, it's a good we it's a good story know. time thing. <laughs> they don't want to know. Yeah, I, I want to know. Care. People don't want to okay. care. Okay. Come on, tell like us. It. Peer right. pressure. Tell us. It's it's tell the freaking Reverb Nation ranking oh, charts. Yeah, okay. Are you are you really going to tell say tell us uh, Just say no to Barbara? Go on Reverb Nation. I can't even speak today. <laughs> I can't speak well. Go on Reformation <laughs> oh. and just go on my profile and look at it. I've you, seen you, this happen before. This happens when when you have the young guy who doesn't know how to speak to women, and he's like, uh, uh, um, uh, you see. It. Wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. So I'm not a woman. This whole time. Oh, wow. So- I was going to oh, say, you thanks, have a lady thanks, on your back. <laughs> and we Ray, have- you're, you have, your avatar is a gorilla. <laughs> yeah. Is it Russell or Jimmy's? It throws me off sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I think you're just accidental laugh track. <laughs> I don't know how that works. But I yes. think you've spoken more in the in this first five minutes than you have in like the entire last two podcasts, where you just giggle orgasmically every once in a while. Which there's nothing wrong with that, by the way. Holy well, shit, we have a lot of live viewers. Significantly creepy. <laughs> what do you guys? Well, have? I think it would make the difference. Ninety-three. <laughs> oh, hello, viewers, this... the listeners. Well, they are kind of viewers. There's a screen there. You There's know, the whole well, I mean, I could <laughs> throw up a picture or whatever if anyone wanted. If you have anyone. Yeah. Could you throw a picture like of that something. dog that's in your profile picture right now? Oh, that <laughs> uh, chihuahua? What is your chihuahua's yes. name? Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Oh, why couldn't we Jeffrey. do with Caleb? Remember with Caleb, I threw up the internet po- or the uh, English porn? Hmm. Um, yeah, I know <laughs> that joke was good like five months ago when he was on with us, but. It's not gonna be funny again. Buddy. <laughs> oh, Don't reuse the same joke. Oh, I can find Thank another you, Caleb. one. <laughs> so, guys, I, I have a serious question for you. Oh, I posted this on on Facebook earlier. So oh, we Lord. have we have these automatic flush toilets at work, and um, like I'm sitting there peeing into the urinal. And then I put my dick away after I'm done, but I don't walk away. I'm just, I'm getting ready to zip up, and the toilet flushes. Like, how does it know that I'm done? Like, shouldn't it just be like a, a sensor that, you know, if Maybe you're there? Maybe there's actually just a camera with a guy operating it on the other <laughs> side of the Is it sitting wall? there watching me pee? I blame yes, Obama absolutely. for spying. Wait, has anybody else had this problem? Uh, I've I never have, had it no, do it kidding. while I'm standing there. No. Well, this one time when I was using the bathroom and I put my dick away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. The giant whale one? Yeah. And by that, I mean put it in one of my pants legs. Uh, oh, <laughs> that happens a I'm... lot as a girl when you're still on the toilet and all of a sudden it flushes and you're like, God damn it, I wasn't done yet. <laughs> yeah, that, you know, maybe really it's trying to tell you something to speed it up. You know, it's like, yeah. Come on. At least me. it's on a schedule have those, like, Could you imagine if it was an automatically um, flushing bidet? Who? <laughs> <laughs> no, I could not imagine that. Derek, why? But that would be nice. Oh, why would you do it? Hmm, depending. Ray, is it making you uncomfortable? Are you imagining a bidet now? A bidet. <laughs> no. Are your parents listening in this time? 
I don't think so. Yeah, Barbara, uh, a few weeks ago, uh, Dark okay. told Ray... Oh, no, told Chaos. By the way, those two, Chaos, uh, Mana, and uh, Simply Ray are a nice little uh, couple. Uh, Dark told Chaos, if I remember this correctly, to suck on... Choke on Ray's vagina while her mom was listening, so... <laughs> that is... Okay, that was how does that even work? I don't know. <laughs> don't try to find I've, that. I've seen pictures of some really strange vaginas so i was just using my imagination I, I put and that... also it's like while her mom's listening is that the best insult you could come up with not watching i didn't know she was listening i was i was an I, almost innocent bystander in this situation oh i see what you're saying she thinks you're hilarious though so you know <laughs> if, if only they knew if only they except knew. for when you talked about coming on the like xbox remote she was like ew sticky buttons and i was like no oh, please don't <laughs> no. I don't like sticky buttons. Uh, I was I was joking. Yeah, but I got that text. I'm like, Mom, no. <laughs> That's gonna be the name of my future band. Sticky buttons. Sticky buttons. <laughs> oh. Have you guys Have you guys read up on the specs of the new Xbox? Um, apparently the remotes get really good battery life. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I was that's just... definitely been a problem with all of my remotes. I have to either have a yeah, battery pack just... or be like tied to the cord. I know! That's the same thing that happens to me. I've got all these uh, AA rechargeable batteries just laying around the house ready for me to change them out at a moment's notice, but apparently right. the new remotes... That's the reason why you have batteries all over the house, because of your Xbox <laughs> controller. I swear I'm it's not for the that. giant dildo. Yeah. <laughs> but, you need <laughs> batteries for your dildo? <laughs> I'm a little confused now. If, it, if it's going it to pulsate like, spin? correctly... What is it like... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it, it, it pulsates, it spins, it even chops up food for you. Wow. It's, a, it's also an MP3 <laughs> player, it does its taxes. It's a no, I can't get printer. it to do my taxes. It's too much of a dick for that. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> but anyway, the, the Xbox remote, um, it, it connects to the, um, the sensor. Uh, what, what the hell is that thing called? The Kinect sensor. And when Kinect senses that, you know, the controller is sitting down, you're not using it, it goes into a, a standby mode. So okay. it's using the minimum amount of battery as it, as it needs to. So, so you wind up, uh, even if wow. you play every single day for like five or six hours, you can go for over two weeks without having to change out your battery. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, I was like, oh, damn, finally something positive to hear about Xbox. Yeah. Well, it seems like a lot of people are excited for Friday, more so than they were for the PS4 launch. I know that was kind of silent. I don't know if that's just because I work at Rooster Teeth and we're kind of Xbox nerds at the office. Yeah. Cough, cough, achievement hunters. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm excited for the Xbox One, even though I'm not getting it. Well, I was kind of surprised because I'm, I'm, I'm subscribed to pretty much everyone's Twitter feed, and I noticed a lot of cast and crew... Per we're tweeting about their PS4, Ew. so I'm just—I mean, yeah. I was kind of surprised. I was—I I was thinking everyone was going to say, "No, I'm going to go with just the Xbox One," but it looks like a lot of people over there bought PS4s as well. Yeah. Maybe that's why they—they—they they, they put PS4 first because everyone was just going to get the Xbox One, and so they're like, "Let's give them something to do while they wait." Yes, put the, the dog back up. <laughs> people are pissed because that's good. probably the yeah. dog. Yeah. <laughs> put the dog back up. <laughs> Oh, you can't you. take away someone's cute, cuddly animal images. People will All go berserk. Long. You should know this. <laughs> All right then. Okay. All right. There he is. Okay. And what's what's your dog's name again? I forget. Jeffrey. Jeffrey. That's Yay. Jeffrey, everybody. That's Jeffrey. <clears throat> they seem That's to love we'll it. We'll have to post a picture of him in the link dump so the people that listen <laughs> later actually know what the hell we're talking about. Good point. Wait. Since oh it's actually God. a picture, you could just use this as the MP4 right, for now. What's actually happening in the stream? Oh, bah. Instead of just sitting there with a picture. Fine, fine, you make too much sense. Don't get ahead of yourself, dude, man. Just fight, <sighs> fight, fight, <laughs> fight, 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 kiss, kiss, kiss. kiss. <laughs> I just want to create as much drama on this podcast as I possibly can. Oh, there, there's drama, and yeah, there's some nights lot. with, uh, when there's alcohol, lots of alcohol involved, it gets very dramatic. Some nights... Quite a few nights, actually. Oh, whoa. I just realized yeah. my computer was trying to restart itself. Let's postpone Whoa. <laughs> oh, nice. No, Zach. So, so if Barbara just kind of disappears and is silent, we all know why. She 
failed to prevent her computer from restarting on her. Or, or because like, I followed the IP address. Either one. I mean, oh. <laughs> I like the IP now you're just being creepy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah no see, we were just waiting for him to do a no-bod. Yeah, eventually he's always going to step over that line. Did you say do a no-bod? Do a no-bod, do a no-bod. Yep. yes. Yeah. No, you don't know this, but there is actually a group on the Rooster Teeth site called Hello. Nobody Likes Nobod. <laughs> Am I right, Dark? You, Dark? you are correct. I'm like, was like the second person I, to join. I was the, the second person. No, it's all in First good it was fun, Zappy of course. made it, and then I joined. You don't <laughs> count, because it's about you. It's like it's like True liking facts. your own status. Wait, you're not supposed to do that? It doesn't count. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's well, like the forever he... alone kind of move you could do. Oh no! Yeah, he, he, he does that quite a bit because he's he's on my Facebook friends list, and I see Alex liked Alex's post. Yeah. Oh, you know yeah, I don't. Like really when you do have that. no friends, that's what you do to make yourself feel better. Uh, you do do that. Don't lie. Wait, don't. <sighs> Picture, there's no proof. Put you on the spot. Head <laughs> doo doo. <laughs> By the way, everyone uh, <laughs> listening, you can always send emails, questions, complaints. Um, you want to bash nobod. The forum thread at yahoo.com. Um, Dark, what's the Twitter feed? Is it just the forum thread? At the forum thread? Yep. Yep. See, we're going full social media with this little bitty podcast. We're trying to grow. And we're going to start off on Squarespace using the software code that's the most current. Well, and thanks to Barbara, wait, wait, there's wait. plenty of people listening tonight. I think, who wants to tell the story on the origin of the podcast real quick? Because it's... it's yeah, Roos- I don't think I even know it. It's Rooster so Teeth related, know. by the way. Oh, well, way back in the long before time, <laughs> there was this thread called the Forum Thread created by our beloved Wubwave. You can't see it, but I'm doing my hands <laughs> like I'm talking over a campfire. Thank you. And somehow or other, it, it started off becoming a rule that you had to say this thread before you posted anything. It was T. Jan Lee's fault. He's yeah, the first one fault. on the second page to just randomly talk in the third person. And for some reason, it became a thing. Everyone had to do that. So, you know, some time passes, and then we have this merry group of misfits that wind up talking a bunch of shit on the forum thread. And we're like, hey, we should turn this into a podcast. And then I'm like, look, I don't like, I don't listen to podcasts, so, you know, if you guys want to make one, you go on ahead. And then they're like, nah, we'll make one, and you'll be a part of it. It was the original Surf Force, which was me and Wubwave, and then we, like, dragged dark into it because well we had like a thing last we had a thing last summer where we would sit on facebook and chat with the three of us often for like no reason oh yeah we only did that like five times and then after a few podcasts they wanted to uh enforce the fact that they don't discriminate discriminate against age sex and race and being me both a minority and a really old person i was a twofer so they asked me to join the podcast you're Unfortunately, not we have yet to have a black guy or girl on the podcast, so if we have any African American or African or anyone with really dark skin pigmentation, <laughs> we're we getting on our podcast, views. so we're less racist. And if we get yeah. 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 it's really tan. Yeah. If you want. <laughs> oh, well, I gotta hand it to you guys for starting the podcast. It's not easy to do this all the time and to be entertaining for an hour, hour and a half, however long you go. I don't think a lot of people realize that how difficult it is. So good oh, job. Yeah. Well, you know, we've uh, we've we've been fortunate that a lot of, of of other Rooster Teeth community members have popped in and Wait, the, in and out of the podcast quite a bit on nights when we we can't always all be on. So uh, yeah. you know, you know, shout outs to like Shadowhound, Master Cage, African American, Renegade, the legendary Oh Web Wave. I, I wish Indy was here tonight. I, I so wanted to talk to her about this, this thing that I heard, that Vancouver what? is banning doorknobs. What? 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 Yes! They think that it's too, um, it's, what, are the, what is it? When you get old and you can't use your hand rights, or if you're crippled and you can't use your hand rights, they think it's, it's uh, making public spaces inaccessible to everybody. So <laughs> they are doing away with all doorknobs in new all new construction and in all new renovations so is it handles now yeah they they are handles and so is there like a a charge for an upgrade or something i mean what if i want handles on my house in my house (laughs) 
Well, they said they from the They're article just said start it's start taking away your door. Well, it's yeah. not a, it's not going it. to be a law type thing. Like if you live in a house, um, you can replace all the handles with doorknobs if you so please. But all the public all all public buildings are having their doorknobs removed and replaced with handles. Okay, so if I live in Vancouver, hypothetically, I have a house there. Am I grandfathered? Are my doorknobs grandfathered in? That's 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 what I'm worried about. <laughs> That, the article, at least what I read, didn't didn't really cover that. Okay. But I'm assuming you'll be okay because it, it would be a private dwelling. Mm -hmm. So they're gonna start building houses now without doorknobs. That seems weird. Yep, no doorknobs. The fuck? Yeah, well, that, I'm like, I, I don't know how I, I was feel living about in that. England. Like you, it was no doorknobs at all. It was all handles. Oh, that's so weird. I mean, may, maybe it's just because you know uh, I, I like to grab onto balls, but you uh, know the uh, whole <laughs> twisting the doorknob thing is. Oh. It's kind of nice. And... How big are the balls you're grabbing? That's yes, what I was about Ken. I'm well, straight. Well, we something about yeah. Ken. Well, you know, I can, I can. A guy We've learned way too much about Ken suddenly. Hmm? What? <laughs> she said you're, you're getting very personal with about Ken. She's assuming Ken has doorknob-sized gonads. Oh yeah, he's got doorknob-sized gonads and a and a cock the size of like a horse dick. It's it's scary. Shit. Oh, that God. explains why you walked with the limp at RTX. Mm -hmm. Explains a lot. Yeah, travel really turns them on, and I'm like, I just couldn't keep them off me. And yeah, I was trying my best not to not to hobble, but Barbara, oh, you caught me. You caught me fusion. Dark oh. is is gay and proud, very proud. So were all you guys at RTX? I know Mr. Fusion was because you were a guardian. Yes, I was. I was a guardian. Yeah, he didn't LP. even have the decency to say hi to me when I was there. I'm like, Fusion, where are no, you? We want to have dinner, and no, he's like, I'm don't, sorry. Don't go there. I'm too, pi I'm too pious to do anything with you. No, 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 because Ed <laughs> both Edwin and uh, Zach found a time, and actually Chaos, Chaos did too, died. and Ray. I got to see all of them but you. God damn it, Chaos. Because... Every time, every time Chaos would text me, where are you at? I'm downstairs. He would go downstairs. Where are you at? Uh, I had to run upstairs for something. <laughs> we, I was, he was always missing me. I was, uh, I, was, I was lucky enough to be a floater, which meant I was everywhere. I just figured you hated us, really. Okay, look, uh, truth be told, I wasn't really a guardian. Um, I was there <laughs> pending. I lied. I stole a shirt. I just didn't want to see most of you. I, I, mm -hmm. I did my best. I best <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Chaos died. So. I saw you there. You did work for me. I did. I did. Work <laughs> you worked for me. You worked for I, me. I like that commanding tone in your voice. What type of work did he do for you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> the only kind you need to know about. Yes, the first rule of guardians is you do not speak about guardians. What we do. Well, I did have the. Uh, I did have the pleasure of uh, working security at the, uh, the pre RTX party, and that was actually very fun. Did you get yes. to have handcuffs? No, no handcuffs. I got to see Gavin get really drunk off of like two drinks he chugged down and almost puked what? on everybody. He's that it much really of a lightweight? Not, it does not take a lot for Gavin. No, yeah. He, have you seen him? Yeah, he's like, oh man, you guys don't understand. You know when they make a con when they say that the camera adds 10 pounds? Uh -huh. It really does because I look like a fat fuck on camera. But <laughs> Gavin is so, he's like, a stick a figure, skin man. stick. He really is. And yeah. when when I That's when like, I got to meet him, it's like, wow. I mean, really? <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> what me, is this? I'm, I'm a I'm a hefty At least guy. that makes him a cheap date. Whoa. If he were gay, then that would be a lot of fun. <laughs> Once again, it always. Like Gavin, you got to options. That, it, well, well it's got me happen. thinking. Yeah. Well. <laughs> mm. It got me thinking because that's that's all it really takes for Ken. Give him one drink and he's buzzed. Give him two drinks and the bitch is wasted. And like, <laughs> you're all do with drunk. You? Yeah, and I can always tell if if he's because I usually get home uh, now now with this new job. Uh, when I get home, I get home after he does it. So when he's sitting there laying on the couch and and he's like doesn't get up to give me a hug, I'm like, oh, he's drunk. And so he'll stand <laughs> up and then like he want, when he gets drunk, he wants to have sex. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I did not agree to this. Like, let me get. Calm down from being at work. Shit. Very <laughs> funny. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm listening to you talk about your sex life, which is both interesting um, and somewhat disturbing. And I'm eating fruit snacks, so. Mm. Oh, you look like Barbara, so um, how was the uh, drinking wedding? Jack and uh, Katie. Oh. Jack and Katie's wedding. It was awesome. Uh, they had their ceremony on the 12th of November, and then they had their 
uh, reception? Yeah. Oh, I always forget those words. I always mix them up. Uh, they had their reception just this past Saturday, which was really nice. Wait, they had a, the reception a different day than the wedding? Yeah, I think because they just wanted like a really small ceremony. I think there was like maybe 10 people there. Oh, wow. wow. Just like really that's, close friends and family. That's got to be really nice, though. Yeah. And then it gets they had their really expensive when with you're everybody. planning for big parties. Hmm. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. I've always had, um, I don't have any like well off families, so I wind up having, I've got a big family. So we wind up renting out one of those lodge type places. And so you have like 100 to 200 people crammed to an, into a tiny little space with one cake and lots of cheap drinks. <laughs> Not really yep. classy, but at least usually it's kind of fun. Well, my wedding initially <laughs> went... We were just going to fly out to the Bahamas with uh, our parents and get married there. <clears throat> so that was the plan. And then it became, okay, well, we're going to have a reception when we get back. And then all of a sudden, I'm paying for two weddings. I'm paying for a wedding in the Bahamas, <laughs> and I'm paying for a wedding here in Houston. One. So, um, And we did get yeah. married both times, and I had to speak with the judge both times so <laughs> if we ever get divorced i have to get divorced twice to the same woman <laughs> oh, wow. yeah but um so what, no, well, what are you considered if you there. only do it once mm. you're almost free yeah <laughs> that's pretty much it it's like uh like a car wash i get i get stamps for every wedding i have so i'm uh two so i have three more to go till i get a free wedding that's it Good to know though. <laughs> but um no seriously um polygamy it, anybody I mean, when i moved from i moved from austin back to houston <laughs> the plan was we were going to go ahead and fly out to the bahamas and have a reception a uh, little reception there with just whoever can make it and then we were going to have a big party here and then uh the the big party turned into the wedding somehow uh, all of a sudden instead of a a reception hall i'm looking for a chapel and uh-huh. <laughs> and the and, um, a minister and it's like, okay i guess i'm getting married here as well so convenient yeah yeah i think uh next year katie plans on doing something in australia with her family yeah i, I think she posted a journal about that uh, a couple of days ago that's pretty cool i mean i yeah. know a year is a, a long wait but still that's uh, yeah it's also a long trip exactly so it's totally understandable yeah but um well that's cool because i mean i, I know when i when we were actually doing a, one of our podcasts when they tweeted out when when she and, and and Jack tweeted out the pictures of him proposing. Yeah, live when the picture and then so, like the joke picture. Came out. Wasn't that three weeks yeah. ago? Mm, I think pretty close. A month yeah. ago. Well, they were actually ago, engaged like long before that, but Katie said that she didn't want a ring, mm-hmm. so that was kind of like the surprise official like, mm. here's a ring, will you marry me kind of thing. But they had already ah. been engaged before that. Aw, so that's so cute. Everyone wondering how they did it so fast and everything. Doesn't have to wonder anymore. <laughs> I was kind of curious. I was kind of curious. I was like, "This is pretty quick," but I, mean, yeah. I respect that. Yeah, no, they're a great couple. They're very much in love. It's very cute to see. Almost nauseating. <laughs> <laughs> I bet there are days when you're walking, you see them in the office like that. Oh God, you're okay. here they come. Do they do the whole? <laughs> um, do the do they do the whole? They sit on the same side of the table when. They're eating type No, thing? they're pretty they're pretty normal about that kind of stuff. They're not disgustingly cute like a lot of couples okay. are. Okay. <laughs> um, Nauseating but not disgusting. Got it, yes, got it. Yes, exactly. Right in the middle there. So wait, Ray and uh, Chaos, what are y'all? Are you in between that? Are you the the, the overly mushy couple? Which one, What are oh. you guys? You didn't see he him at RTX. He always sits next to me uh, yeah, they were... whenever we go out to eat. So. You get a booth yeah. and he'll sit next to me. Nine separate they were. Oh, that's cute. Aww. Yeah, that's what I called him out. <laughs> She's like, quit being I thought he was the dog guy. No! <laughs> no, leave David alone. She orders his meals for him. <laughs> He'll be having the chicken. <laughs> oh, God, you said Honey, that in a really good way. did I say you could speak? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's oh like God, she has so practiced cool. doing it. Okay, so <laughs> I wanted up. to bring this up real quick because because uh, chaos and I want to <laughs> brag about this, but uh, we both got our uh, uh, Elder Scroll Online beta invites for this oh, weekend. Chaos, so why you stop streaming? Yeah, so we can chaos, fix this. Yeah. Well, you know what? I'm gonna be moving my mother around this weekend, so. No, it's still there. It, it, if it if it disappears, it'll only be gone in like a second. In all seriousness, I'm really jealous of you two. Well. 
you know my you story. You should have signed up. You remember the disaster that happened the first uh, beta test, right? Where it was yeah, only open for three hours. Chaos got to play for the full duration. I was. I will admit that did make me feel a little better, knowing that you kind of had to suffer. That that really sucked. Well, Barbara, what happened was, uh, um, for the Elder Scrolls Online, we got the beta invite a couple months ago for the first test, and it was only a three-hour block on a Friday afternoon. So he and I both hauled ass home to play this for a little bit. Well, he got to play. When I logged on, I got to play for about 10 minutes, and then I got stuck in this room that I couldn't exit. Oh, my God. And I, I think I maybe have sent like 10, 10 bug reports. And yeah. then uh, finally, right when the character was able to spawn outside of the room, the beta testing ended. So this will be actually the first time I get to play the game. <laughs> It was it was like so many people had that happen to them that there was like this little pit like oh hello <laughs> join the club there was like a bunch of other people standing there that had already fallen so the, after I had fallen the first time it was just like oh that's what all these people had been talking about in the chat because it was so like very very awkward chat you you didn't know what they were saying and then really? oh everyone is just there sounds like a social nightmare oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <clears throat> especially with all the people that you know were probably all part of the beta invite. I'm picturing like a lot of those, uh, the really not not the geeks, but the nerdy people. You know the ones I'm Straight talking up about. Nerds, yeah. Yeah, and they're all all sitting down there in the bottom of this pit, uh, trying to strike up a Magic the Gathering or Pokemon match or something like that. And While all the cool kids are in the back yeah, playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Being really yeah, awkward, right. like they do. No. If, no, no offense to uh, to Chaos Mana or Mr. Fusion here. You guys were totally not like that at all. No, because I went and did Venge yeah, Press totally. and squats afterwards. Shout out to all us with the uh, first Little beta, though. Manhood. Just mm -hmm. forget you guys with yeah. the second one. Shout out. Oh, never mind. I, I don't care. I don't care. What, what was that? I do. I have a speaking problem. No. <laughs> You're just Game you your yeah, shout Come on, man. Come on. I, you okay. know what? We all do. You're a musician and you have speaking problems. Is that That's true? why he raps. It uses a different part of the brain so he can get his thoughts out that or way. Or did you just pull that out of your ass? Yeah. Totally. <laughs> I think it's true. I did pull it out of my ass, but I think it's scientifically founded. Nobody Maybe. look it up on WebMD. Quick. That's probably Quick look it up. See if it's true. So, Barbara. No. Okay. What? It's like a online doctor yeah it tells so you, you have everything you type what? in every symptom you has cancer? cancer every symptom yeah runny nose you have cancer mm. yep yeah you went to yeah. webmd and you typed in your symptoms and it said butt cancer <laughs> that is the joke from the, from the creepy homeless people yeah that was a joke 30 minutes ago thanks buddy appreciate that mm -hmm. So, before the, the topic of Elder Scrolls gets a little too dated, Barbara, what, what's your opinion on the Elder Scrolls games? Have you played them? Do you like them? I this played the shit out of Skyrim. Alright, I like you. Uh, I liked you before, time... but now I really like you. <laughs> now you actually like me. Uh, there was a time period in between graduating college and getting hired at Rooster Teeth where I did not have a job. And uh, after college, I moved back home with my family. And all I did every day for three months was play Skyrim. <laughs> I wish I was kidding or exaggerating, but that is what I did as I was waiting for my visa to get approved. Hey, there's so. a lot worse things you can do with your time than play Skyrim. I, I lost 270 hours of my life to that game, and I don't regret it. <laughs> <laughs> I probably have close to that in the combined Elder Scrolls series. I had I had less time in Oblivion, I think. I only had about like 216 hours in Oblivion. And in Morrowind, they, it was too old. They didn't keep track of how much time you spent on that one. I don't think they did anyway. See, but I enjoyed Skyrim so much that I actually bought Oblivion. I haven't played it yet, though. Uh, yeah, it, Oblivion is more fun if you haven't played Skyrim first because the controls are so much better and the graphics are quite a bit better but right. for, for what it is it's still a pretty damn fun game especially the shivering shivering i can't even say it isles the expansion shivering pack. isles Arr. yes Arr. yeah it, it's probably one of the best expansion packs of the entire series it 
it, well, it yeah, just, the, the, sh the, the entire island, island and the missions just feel more like actual expansion pack rather than just throwing an extra mission for an entire yeah. 1600 points so in yeah, the also... the twitch chat not a, not jake patrick says to barbara wall see while you waited for your visa to play skyrim while gavin waited for his visa he blew stuff up so Something tells me he's trying to say you weren't as productive as Gavin was. Well, also, while Gavin was blowing stuff up and working at a grocery store, I was going to university getting my degree, but, which made it so much easier. But car full of money. Visa. Boom. I think that Entire <laughs> building. <laughs> Lawyered. Wow. Come on. <laughs> but you were on TFT Podcast, so shout out to those guys. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a, that's a step true. up in class. It is true. That, that is a fact. Okay, I'll go ahead and say this. I decided uh, just um, yes. about two minutes ago. I'm going Welcome to, to the winning Xbox side. One. Really? Oh, no, I'm. I'm <laughs> yeah, it was a and tough decision. It was going to be between a, uh, a PS4 and a brand new set of rims for my car, and I decided uh, the Xbox One will probably get more uh, value out of that. So. Yeah. Really? How un Mexican of you. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that, racist. <laughs> See, I'm impressed. I can make Mexican comments because I'm, in fact, Mexican. So, um, but you're a Georgian, so you're not allowed to do that. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. So, was it really hard crossing that river, Mr. He Lee? actually dug a tunnel. I would know. I can ask my great grandfather. Oh. <laughs> I, I actually I would be able to. But he around, used his so, used uh, his dead body as a raft to get happen. over. Don't try to be racist. a funny racist. No, but it's not gonna work. It Why? Really... Why? <laughs> you Your jokes are so the real, Yeah. The real question is, do you know how to swim, Mr. Fusion? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, so when the day after tomorrow thing with happens, the little floaties, and, you know, I can, I can the, get the north freezes, you can swim your way back over that river. Mm, yeah, but I would probably just uh, take a take a bus or a train. It'd be easier. <laughs> <laughs> a bus yeah. drives over the river. Yeah. Yeah. Or I'd pay a it... coyote to get me across the border. <laughs> Seems legit. That's what I did Let's last go with that. Time. Well, that's what happened last time because I did get arrested <clears> in TJ. <throat> uh, Things got out of hand at a donkey show, and there was some bloodshed, and uh, I had to pay my way to get back across the border. <laughs> Don't like to talk about that <laughs> too much, but yeah, I've lived a pretty wild life, if I must. And, wh so and so. why were you at a donkey show? Um, do I really need to go in detail? It involves smuggling <laughs> a couple of pounds of uh were you about to say China it's all, you about to say it's Chinese all part opium? Of being a guardian at oh. RTX? Yeah, so this one, I didn't mention you that must... tidbit. This is part of the orientation. I mean, the uh, initiation of being a guardian is you have to smuggle uh, heroin across the border. Yes, thank you for that, <laughs> and, by the way. And somehow wind up in a donkey show. That's the, the no, no. That was just I okay had a few with. hours to kill, so I said, <laughs> since I'm there, might as well, you know, get a as tattoo of a guitar on my bicep, you know. Listen to some La Bamba, you know. Classy. Going back to your roots. Actually, I've never been to Tijuana. <laughs> I mean, I'm as white as I can, as a Mexican can get. I'll be honest with you. So. Yeah, I was looking at your picture, the one like one of only two pictures you have online of yourself. I'm like, yeah, I've seen white people darker than him. I appreciate <laughs> that, and that's that's me with the tan, by the way. Just so you know. Nice. What happened? I'm kidding. I'm, not, I'm actually pretty dark. It's just the cameras <laughs> make me look paler. Uh -huh. And it's winter time. That was a win those two pictures were winter time in Austin. It was Flash, yeah, you know. Yeah. Some and plus it was the makeup, you know, the base. I have a, I have a little uh, problem about. Yeah, I'm kind of ashamed of my skin tone, so I kind of put on some uh, white paint. Oh my God! Paint. He does white face. Yes. <laughs> you racist motherfucker, you. Actually, those Not pictures were in Austin, face. and those are actually really old. So uh, when I worked in radio out there, I I hardly ever went outside <laughs> back then. I'd go to the gym and then go to the station and work a lot. And so, if I'm not out there for at least five minutes, Wait, I'm uh, quite quick. Cool. So, cool. I'm sure the fans a regular really view want to of ours. TJ Lee talk about asked, my skin color uh, for Barbara. Experience. How much did it hurt to get drop kicked when you were in that box? Oh, <laughs> uh, the funny story oh, is that wasn't we, the first time Rick kicked this? me while I was in a box. Oh my! 
Yeah, yes, story time. time with Barbara. Yay, it's very short, but enjoy this. <laughs> so we get a lot of boxes to the receiver And random office, shit you don't need. A lot of equipment and supplies I'm guessing. and stuff. So we're talking we these... about box. Are we talking <laughs> yeah, about paper shit. boxes or vagina boxes? Both. I see that happening. Women just Ooh. show up and they're like, "What's up?" Uh, <laughs> Okay, I like where this is going. So Please there's this continue. big cardboard box Oof. out in the hall that was, like, long and skinny, but, like, tall. So I go inside it, and I lie down. And Ray, unknowingly, or he didn't know I was in the box, but he came <laughs> over and he kicked the box Attaboy. where my fucking head was. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> and all he, heard, all he heard was this little squeal from inside me going, like, oh! <laughs> and then you just closed the lid and calmly walked away. <laughs> no, then I got out and I told him that he got out and he, well, he went, uh, oh, sorry, and walked away. Oh my god! Well, so, Ray is quite the ladies' man, if anyone's wondering. <laughs> and well, the second time, luckily, I was padded. Does packing peanuts uh, work packing that well peanuts, for padding? And he kicked my back, so I was okay. God. We need to test that out. Pretty much, yeah. Better than yeah, yeah can we? I'll yeah, be the dumbest. Oh, I'll do it. Test. No. Yeah. Hmm. no, bud. Yes, y you need to crawl into a box filled with packaging peanuts while someone pushes right. you down a flight of stairs. Sounds good. See how you feel I volunteer to kick him in the box. <laughs> I'm interested, yeah. so yeah, I'll do For it. Science, For science, everybody. But yeah, it was not fun. It, do you think he would actually Just come to wherever we are just to kick him <laughs> down a flight of Yeah, let's do it. Trust me, Barbara, there is a long enough line already that people Although, don't want to kick him. You know, you could just ask me. I'll get into a cage with you. Yeah. Work. Although... Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ooh, you can't. You gotta see that. Man. I can't picture you cage almost fighting. almost desperate. You gotta see me with a shirt off. But you're so scrawny. As long as you come out to some one of your uh, dub uh, dubstep tracks, I, uh, I'll pay to see that. Did I have a feeling even I would stand right. a chance against you. Oh! I can see that. <laughs> That's the biggest insult ever. All right, at RT. Way to stand 14, by your man, Jesus. Chaos Mana and Nobod. We're gonna get We're gonna have a, a battle royale. <laughs> so we should do that when we get the uh, when we get a uh, when we try if we get a panel there next year we should have that as like yeah. the centerpiece where Chaos and Nobod have a throwdown. Okay, Wait, well, yes, oh, yes. You guys want a panel, huh? This, this was okay, kind so. of yeah. Now that we have, uh, we're going to talk that? to you about that. See that, that that's the thing. Um, <laughs> Now's a good time for you guys to just flat out ask. I mean, you you asked me, and I'm like, but Mr. I'm just Hughes, a I have no fucking clue what goes on. Hey, you hey, Ray, nice picture. I am not Sorry, connected wait. in any way. I am just I a community member that. like you guys. I'm just right, except your featured user today, or featured member. Not yeah, a did user. you have Sorry, to do with that, user. by the way? Did I have anything to do with it? Yeah, the future. Yeah. No, I, we're I just didn't really, actually. we're just really lucky this week. It's just incredible coincidence, though. It's kind of funny. It knew. Yeah, it's like the site knew it was coming. Hey, it's in I, our I'm favor. Detecting Do not a conspiracy here. Hmm. The site is self-aware. Oh. <laughs> this is the this is the big update that Adam's been working on. What put me as a featured user? <laughs> Money well spent. No, becoming self-aware. <laughs> yeah. Our site's gonna be like, hello, welcome. <laughs> hello, Dave. That you are wearing pajamas. <laughs> no, then the site's gonna start bugging you guys. Why is it? If there's, the if there's any it? robot Should to become self-aware, I wanted to have Barbara's voice. Yeah, I'm hungry. Honestly, no, because it'll be scary and really funny. Oh, thank you. I want it to be scary and funny. So basically, you want there's... it to sound like Yang. Mm. Take it however you so want. So I'm scary and funny. I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult. I would consider it a compliment. Okay. Yeah. I'm just, I'm enjoying hearing uh, uh, Mac? Nobot trying what? to throw his Mac on. I think I'm on. too young for that. It's pretty interesting. Oh, wow. Get <laughs> up, baby. I'm 17, back off. Buddy, you're hey, never too old. Are you? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Sorry, okay, yeah, never mind. Oh, wow. Abort, yeah, abort, yeah. abort. <laughs> never mind, pause. I David being we seem to be having bad, trouble though. keeping Nobot in this call. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Boot him quick. <laughs> <laughs> We're going through a tunnel. Please don't call the police. I think we had this joke before, many many moons ago, when we we used to, I I said something about send your questions, comments, complaints 
or nudes and yeah, sexual harassment. Send them to I nobody. Tell everyone not to do that. So I'm only seventeen. <laughs> yeah, I felt really bad after that. I did. Oh, lie. he has a conscience. I don't have a conscience. And we know I didn't Mr. feel Fusion bad did, about so. that at all. Aww. You said me some. What, you trying to say I'm an asshole? At 15 minutes, actually. Uh-oh, uh... I think nobody's got to go to bed yeah. now. <laughs> I heard I heard grown-up voices. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> Someone's oh. in trouble. No. It's like Please. rumbling thunder in the background. <sighs> Have Whoa. you guys ever yes, had wait, someone walk what? in on y you, any of the box wait, members? Doing what? Doing what? <laughs> Sorry, what? When the podcast, when you're recording, yes, when the, you're recording a podcast, has someone ever, like, walked in behind, oh, you're recording, and then had uh, to, like, quiet themselves? Not me, personally, because when I did the internet box, when I still lived at home, uh, I had a lock on my bedroom door, so people wouldn't just, like, barge in on me. But the other guys, I think Mike had someone ring the doorbell one time, so he had to like leave and he <laughs> minutes, back for it. like ten minutes, and we're just like, I hope it wasn't a killer. <laughs> Excuse yeah. me, while I answer the doorbell and, and we were don't just like, Who was it? Get to ask his like, name. Oh, we had know. a nice chat. Like, we're gone oh, for ten minutes, dude. Tea. Crumpets, crumpets. I meant crumpets. Crumpets. About crumpets. Crumpets. You mean crumpets? Crumpets, crumpets and tea. Crumpets. Crumpets. <laughs> Crimpets is what happens to your hair. Like you're probably the only one here that knows. Those little twisty, bendy iron things, right? Crimp. Sure. We maybe. Yeah, to believe you. I don't. I've never used one. What are see, you? See, we lose. What? We lose robot dark, and we. Am I seriously robot lagging? Dark. I mean, robot nobot. Robot dark. <laughs> oh, <laughs> You're lagging. Oh, yeah, you, it's, it's like the terrible. universe you know is what, telling dude? you to go uh, away. Here's a tip: close, close out BitTorrent. Hey, you, hey, want to talk about using old jokes? Probably, Calm down uh, with that. No! You use with. that every podcast. Torn cannot wait. He's not having any sex. He uh -oh. needs to have the porn. Hey, you know Trouble what though? Paradise. Porn. You're right. Porn I'm jokes sorry. I'm sorry. I have no have expiration it. date. <laughs> I should know this. But porn stars do. Oh, burn. I don't know, Ron Jeremy's still going strong, and he's like, what, 80? Oh, he doesn't need to be. I'm missing the reference. Do I not know the wonders of Viagra, I think. Stars? Oh, there's a chat. I missed the reference. No, I do not. <laughs> you don't know who Ron Jeremy is? Oh, actually, no. Not not much. <laughs> you ever played no, Sonic no. the Hedgehog? Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, never mind. Okay, we yeah, I played the really old ones. Well, what like the really, really old ones. <laughs> yeah, here it's Jez says Jenna Jameson is coming back. Want to talk about playing Sonic the Hedgehog? Yeah, that that's very that's not cool, man. I mean, see, see, I'm an old guy. When I was a kid, Jenna Jameson was the bomb back in the day, and she's not the bomb anymore. Time has taken a toll on that body, and she decides to come back into porn. That's no me gusta. Uh, no, <laughs> I don't know. I th I think that there's there's something to having right. older women right. doing porn. I mean, um. not everybody can be a <laughs> You know, the surgically altered, you know, p picture perfect model and do porn. I think what there should be, be your more. What would be porn name if you had one? Ooh, my <laughs> dark porn name. Oh, <laughs> dark oh, one. Oh no, what have you done, Barbara? <laughs> see, you're missing the dark fact one. that dark is dark in one the dark. That's a good one. A scene. You have your porn. Hmm. What's... What? 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 Wait, I know you've thought what? about this, Barbara. What would your porn name be? My point yes. is no numbers. Wow, you're slot a badass. Machine. <laughs> I missed that. Like slot machine, but slut. Nice. Yeah. Yes, Barbara. <laughs> and then and, my and uh, other... the guy who I bone would be Blackjack. Blackjack, you just you just put <sighs> money in her and she she goes all night. Oh, also, God. I just want to point out that my brother is currently listening and in the chat. You have a so brother? Hello, brother. Oh, never mind. I hope you're enjoying. This hello, brother's brother. Okay. I have two brothers. I have no follow-up questions. That's why I said never mind. Hmm, I did not know this. Only which, Now, which... <laughs> What's your brother's name? Now, which See, brother he was going to go down a dark path, but now that... What's your brother's name? He's listening. He's going to... So. <laughs> I got I an older did. brother named Steven, who's in the chat, uh, is G-Diff. Yes. And a younger brother named David. Ah, uh, G-Diff. There he is. Okay, I you follow just, your brother. You are Twitter. On Twitter as well. 
too. The, uh, You're just a, did you say the porn pun, instead of pun? The pun force is strong with that family. It is yeah. just a regular old stalker. You should not be at like, a family I make a lot of, It's unbearable. I make a lot of puns normally, but I hold back during the podcast. Oh, good, awesome. so. I really try. Because I... No, I say things wrong when I'm on the podcast. Do you don't hold back? I always yeah. do. <laughs> it's okay, oh. though. I know, Be it's adorable. I've started saying like, them only talk. because it's become the thing for everyone to, you know, point at you for it. So I've started doing them not on purpose, just kind of, it's becoming more <laughs> natural, I guess. I think you do to You're... annoy me. <laughs> well, that too. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Relationship <laughs> drama. Oh, um, yeah, totally. That's why we're planning, like, our wedding. <laughs> Pun-free wedding. Yes. Oh, and, and Barbara, David, you can take solace in the away. fact that these two met through the Rooster Teeth community. And you did this. They will be Look what you've done. This is your fault. Point, uh... So what you're saying is that <laughs> oh. we own half of your child's you income for the rest of its life. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Cool. <gasps> terms oh of service. If you read the terms of services, that's Wait, what Wait, can you says. guys actually put that in there? <laughs> like, your children yeah. belong to us. <laughs> Only half. It might already be in there. Mm -hmm. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, yeah it's like the smallest font possible. So it's not you can't see it unless you actually have the code. In. But they're not oh. subjected to those it's terms not in because here. they're not actually paid sponsors. It is not in here. They're, but they're, they have they're... joined the site. Oh yes, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, that's part of the terms of use in the site. Oh, Did anybody yes. not see that? Uh, yeah, yeah no, anyone not see that South Park episode with the uh, the Facebook? You know, accepting the terms of the human sentai pad. And... Yes. The sentai pad. Yeah, yeah. Like Rooster well, Teeth has got something like that going on, and you had no idea. What? Wait, maybe this ties into you the haven't conspiracy. Seen that episode. It's it's really. They're uh, using us to make this happen. It's craptastic. It's a conspiracy. Yeah. Oh my God. And Caleb already just told me that this, all this, the this, cast and crew this members. This thing are that's robots, been going on so... it means we're we're gonna be on their hit list. That's exactly what a robot would say. Hmm. I'm not a robot. Yeah, she's not a robot. Caleb ain't no <laughs> shit. <laughs> Worst community manager ever, am I right? You know, it was kind of funny. He actually uh, swung by the uh, side quest uh, extra life party that we were having. Yep. And he was getting his Why ass don't... whipped in GTA. I'm really? Just, I don't want to. He tried Are to. You? He was ready to Go school to us, frisbee. and uh, he got schooled a little bit. I'm not saying it was me directly, but. There was Listen. some schooling going on, and Caleb was part of that. It's very different to play video games for a living like these guys do, and to actually be a gamer yeah. like everyone yeah, else. Yeah, hey, As hey, way to drop the ball in uh, Sonic. Way to drop the ball in Sonic, Barbara. The team Hunter was the worst team the whole time. <laughs> Which, I, I'm going to say, the Gauntlet is it's becoming one of my favorite Rooster Teeth uh, Oh, yeah, it's a oh, really yeah. well-done idea. They're doing such an amazing job with all the editing and all the stuff that they got when they were filming was amazing. It was a great group of people and the chemistry was good. I think it really helps having Rooster Teeth exactly what we're doing right now. for the audience, just because it's something familiar. Mm. Uh. Uh. <laughs> you, know, I'm, you know, I'm probably way behind on this whole curb thing, but I've literally just like started watching Ruby, and I I've got to say I'm start. actually really awesome. enjoying it now. Awesome. Yeah, yeah nice, he, was, nice, he was very unsure. Nice job on your part there, too, before. Barbara. I, Thank you. Great job. There's <laughs> hopefully more for Yang in the next volume. I know the guys are already kind of at work writing it and starting to think about what they want to do. But, uh, yeah, I'm just flabbergasted at the reaction that we've had from Ruby and just all the fans and art we receive and everything. If you guys ever like need that, extra music the work, enthusiasm I, is And Williams ridiculous. is just... Mike, come on. <laughs> Yeah, there he is. When we were at, at RTX, that was the, just the line for for Ruby was absolutely crazy. That that, that in itself says a lot. Yeah, um, it's crazy to see the enthusiasm that we had before the show even started. Like we had cosplayers and people doing a ton of fan art and everything before the show kicked off. So that initial, I guess, burst of energy from everybody was, I think really helpful in having the show be a success oh, yeah and, and anybody that's uh, a regular a listener of the show knows that when the the ruby trailers first started coming out I, I was i was one of those persons that was like you know i really don't know 
how I feel about this show and if it's actually right. going to be any good. But now that it's actually out and I'm, I'm watching it, I'm like, you know, this is actually pretty good. I'm really enjoying myself here. So I yeah. am. Uh, oh, God. Awesome. I, there's not a catchphrase for that. Um, <laughs> Very I, I like your brown. shit. Let's just say Thank that. Thank you. <laughs> well, you yeah, know, it's um, really cool to be part of Rooster Teeth where we have so many different productions and so many different shows that you don't have to like everything. And that's the beauty of it. It's yeah. like there's some things I don't like or there's some things other people don't like and they don't just don't watch them. Yeah. And that's totally cool. I, I was going to say, you know, um, in October, it was nine years I, I've been on the site. And it's just it's great to see the evolution of Rooster Teeth. From just oh, um, yeah. this little red versus blue show that I was, I would have to go to and download either the <laughs> high res or low res version, um, to the you know the the spectrum of of pro I mean of of, of productions that are offered. It's great. I, I it's it's you know when I I think uh, we had this discussion a few podcasts back about how just the business model of of Rooster Teeth and uh, I mean you know me being a business person. And this point in my working career, it's great to see how things are done. You know, seeing within the past couple of years, 30 some odd employees, and then all of a sudden, 70 some odd people. It's just like boom, this explosion yeah. over there. And I'm sure, I'm sure, and you, you've been there for a few years, just seeing the growth since you've been there. It's, 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 uh, I'm sure it's, it's sometimes you just, you'd, I don't know if it hits you or not, just to see how you look around like, damn, where all these people come from? It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. When I first got there, um, almost two years ago, there was 25 people, I think, total. And now, if you include contract workers and um, hired talent and all that stuff, we have closer to 65. Goodness. So, just from that jump alone, the office has become so tight and so difficult to move around in. Achievement Hunter is bursting at the seams. Uh, our studio is bursting at the seams. So, we're eager to get a new place. Well, what's cool about it would... too is that so many of the of the of the employees are. You I mean you, Caleb? Everyone can attest to this coming through the community, and becoming a part of you know Rooster Teeth. Uh, that, I mean, I tip my hat off to that. I really do. I mean, well, thank you. It, it's 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 uh, you know like I, and I, I make jokes and we've told stories about you know working in uh, m me working in radio throughout the years and just seeing people coming and going and the business models and how, you know, like a company like clear channel just sucks balls. Um, <laughs> I really like the way rooster teeth, the direction you're, you're going in and, 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 and branching out in different things. And I know, I think dark and I had an argument last podcast about, uh, about Ruby, Ruby being anime or not. When we were talking about anime. Oh yeah. And, but whatever, whatever genre you want to put it under, it's just, it's a, I really like the show and both he and I, when we saw the trailers, we were like, uh, I don't know if it's going to be something I like. And then yeah. after a few episodes, like, okay, I really like this. I really do. And and I know everybody puts their heart into it. And I know the, the, the negative feedback for, for that were, that would, people were throwing the criticism. It, it kind of sucks to hear that, but you know, like I, in the years I would do production stuff, I know that you have to take the bad with the good. Um, mm -hmm. You just want to have more good input than you want bad. But uh, to yeah. see the, the, the response to Ruby was great. And, um, for me, like I really liked Ruby, and then I'm really getting into the Gauntlet. I really like that show. Awesome, yeah, we're really excited with everything yes. new coming out, and then we're hopefully filming some more immersion for season two soon. We've been waiting to kick that off since a, a lot of stuff has been kind of getting more priority, like yeah. the Gauntlet yeah. and Ruby. Um, one of the coolest things about having a company that operates online is that you get instant feedback, so we get to see what people liked and what they didn't like, and as hard it is, as it is to hear that, it's also really important, and I think it helps us make things better. Like, if you look at Gauntlet Season 1 compared to Gauntlet Season 2, it's almost unrecognizable. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. Uh, so many changes I've noticed all yeah. throughout just this part. I want to ask you, I don't know, uh, I know extensively Ruby was... Uh, a lot of you did a lot of voice acting was that your first go with voice acting Ooh, like a, yeah, big good question. a big project a big project like that or i mean because i don't remember anything on Rooster Teeth where you did a lot of that stuff and i'm just yeah, curious this is my first uh time i've ever actually voice acted for a character yeah. i mean we do a ton of stuff at rooster teeth like the recap and yeah. shorts and commentary yeah. on videos so we have experience using our voice yeah. in a presenting kind of way 
But voice acting is so different, and it's really challenging because so much of acting that I've done before, mm-hmm. I was able to rely on my face and what my face was doing and the emotion I could portray with my face. But when you have just your voice, you have to be so over dramatic with everything. It was fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because because you, you, I mean, I, I I've done a little bit of it too, as well as you know doing the the stand up stuff in, in broadcasting, and I I think we talked about that a long time ago in a podcast that voice acting is so different in that you like you just said you have to overexpress because you don't realize when you're in front of a camera and you're doing you know your body and your voice create one thing one 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 project that, that the person is looking at that you don't realize how loud the projection is until you actually are doing voice work and you listen you're just like god that just didn't feel like enough emotion was in that maybe yeah. i need to do something different so fuck it maybe i need to hop around while i'm reading these <laughs> lines or so I is was that just what curious. You do, Mr. Now. Fusion? What's that? Hop around? Is that what you do? You hop no, around? No, actually, in your I would. Punch, this <laughs> is kind of funny, jump but get down. people. Um, I used to do a radio show here in Houston, a sports show, and uh, I was the, just the producer, but I would get on the mic a lot. But um, I would start. I would start doing like uh, football, like not exercises, but I would start bouncing around. So the the two hosts would see me, and they would get actually kind of into the show like they would be they'd come in okay fuck five minutes till show time they didn't do any show prep what the fuck are we going to talk about and then they look inside the control room and they see me bouncing around <laughs> they're like okay let's just let's get a little loose on the seven fun <laughs> like just let him go on the air he's 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 perky why not yeah yeah why not <laughs> so but uh yeah i was just kind of curious because uh um, i noticed uh I, I don't know i i just i noticed the difference from the trailer the voice work from the trailer versus the show itself it just seemed a little it's much better it seemed a, it seemed a lot more like it, it just seemed more comfortable on the show than the, than you the want trailer. to know something about that oh. and a lot of people don't know this yes um, please we did the entire first volume of voice acting before you recorded the trailers okay really so a lot of people are like oh my god the voice acting's improved so much the thing is is that the trailers were done by shane and monty only they are not professional voice mixers. Gotcha. They are not professional Thank script you. writers. And they wrote those trailers. So the lines, a little corny, not going to lie. We all know. There's no sound mixing, so it sounds very unnatural. Yeah. Uh, and so I think that compared together is just... And I think that's that's what I told <laughs> Dark when we first heard the yeah. trailers. I, I, you know, I was listening. I said, the mixing just sounds a little different to me. And so... I was wondering how, and then you know when the first episode came, I said, "Okay, it's going to be all right. It's nothing to worry about, yeah. folks. No, no need to panic." I hadn't actually thought about it, but you're you're absolutely right. That's it's one of the biggest things that, that one of the things that makes the biggest difference. Um, now that I'm actually watching the show, not just not just have the trailers to go by, but yeah, the the mixing makes a huge difference. Huge it's, difference. It's like night and day. <laughs> I'm really glad you you shone the light on that because I I probably would have been wondering that for <laughs> for a long time. I, what was up yeah. with those trailers? And you know what? Another thing is it it could have been better in the show too because we are doing um we did chapters one to five first and then chapters ten uh, six to ten, so we were mm. doing those for such long periods of time. Like we did I think two hours at a time in the recording booth for those. Ooh, so you get really? more and more into the character the more you're doing it. Yeah. So maybe it sounds better that way. And the trailers we recorded like in I think like two minutes. Hmm. Oh, yeah, well. I could see that. Yeah, you you lose that investment when it's just a couple minutes versus a couple hours. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I can see that. What line did you have to record most or messed up on the most during the I whole process? Was, was there any like it. specific moment that you guys <laughs> just kept on having to? To redo over and over. Yeah. Um, not really. Miles and Carrie are excellent directors when it comes to doing voiceover work. Like they know exactly how they want it to sound. So if you're struggling with it or having a hard time, they'll say, "Oh, do you mind if I give you a read?" And you could just copy me, uh, which is really helpful if you're not too picky about it. Hmm. Um, I didn't really have difficulty with any lines. Uh, there's a few ad libs in there, including "nailed it," which is still one of my favorite things. <laughs> Listen to her popping her own collar. I like it. <laughs> uh, another one of my favorite ad libs was in the second to last episode, where they're realizing spoiler that Blake is a faunus. <gasps> Sorry if I spoiled that. Uh, I and, love that uh, line. Ruby goes, she Wait, does I'm like disappearing. Tina a lot. <laughs> I love that. That was a, a that was an ad lib from Lindsay, which was amazing. <laughs> 
I think. All right, uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be watching for that line when I when I get to that episode. Yeah, I just realized as I was saying that that you hadn't finished it, and I felt really bad. <laughs> well, I you know I, I have been existing Spoiling on the stuff. website the whole okay. time that Ruby's been going out, so I kind of know how the plot goes. So you didn't okay. really ruin anything. So it's okay. I, I try to spoil a few things for him too. He's in the middle of Breaking Bad right now, and I'm tempted just to tell him everything. Oh, that yeah, would just be evil. Yeah, asshole. Don't do it. <laughs> I know a certain podcast you might want to listen to before you... Yeah. <laughs> the unspoiler cast about the entire thing. Uh, the problem I have with Breaking Bad, it's one of those shows that when I'm watching it, I can't stop watching it. But when I'm not watching it, it's like, do I really want to watch Breaking Bad? It's really, it's a really, like, not not upsetting, but it's a stressful show to watch. It's exhausting. Yeah. But that's why it's so good. Yeah. yeah, it's like, I don't enjoy watching it, but once I start watching it, I can't stop because it's just so good. I'm like, what is wrong with me? It's like, I like this punishment. Like, come back, hit me again. <laughs> And you're still barely in season two, aren't you? Yeah. See, and I yeah. told you, once the first season is, I tell everybody this, the first season is a grind. It, it just, it's really slow, but about midway through season two, that's when the, the shit just picks up. And you, I think at, season three and four are my favorites. Yeah, I, I mean, I really love that show. It's it's hands down. I know everyone says, though, The Wire is the greatest show ever. Everyone wants, nah. everyone wants to argue about what their favorite <laughs> nah. show is. And for me, Breaking Bad, it's just brilliant. I mean, it's yeah, the, the rise and fall of, of a high school chemistry teacher. You know how Rooster Teeth does uh, their podcast awards every winter? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We were talking about it uh, recently, and we're just like, so should we have a category for best TV show other than Breaking Bad? Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, we'd all vote for it, so it would really? just be like, no question. Oh, yeah, it is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, uh, it's a shame a lot of the other big stuff that's out there. Well, I, th well I, I, did, did, I did recommend anyway. to you Orange is a New Black. I, I thought, I, I watched that one last month, and I found it to be very good. I was surprised. Yeah, Netflix keeps on trying to get me to watch it, too, but I have too much shit that I'm watching. I don't have time. Well, trust Old me, man. I, I haven't even watched House of Cards yet. That's one I've been wanting to jump on. And yeah, there's a lot of good TV out there. A lot of good games to play, too. Occupy the There's time. too much good stuff. This is the problem with the world today. Yeah, we're in a golden age yeah. of entertainment. Too many choices. I agree. That's why we just need that to watch awesome. uh, stuff on the Rooster Teeth website and, 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 and leave it at that. That's why I love the internet so much, because you can watch whatever you want, whenever you want. You don't have to worry. <laughs> uh, thank you, internet, and whatever gods are... Uh, responsible for your immaculate creation. Well, you know, I, I'll... I'll Every pretty much every podcast wherever I I do a little back in my day uh, little rant, but oh, I remember when go. I was I remember when I was in high school, like at the tail end of high school, we uh, had to walk uphill to <laughs> school. We were talking ways. about uh, talking about <laughs> having media on demand. You know, like you can you can there you it wasn't of course wasn't downloaded. It wasn't internet. It wasn't World Wide Web. None of that stuff. No MP3s and shit like that. But it was uh, the idea of, oh, you're, at one point you're going to be able to do just, you know, click on something and watch whatever movie you want to watch on the spot. And I remember everyone was like, fuck off. That's oh, never yeah, gonna... that'll never happen. <laughs> what fucking futuristic, hooty, you know, crazy world are you talking about? And I mean, we're here now and I love it. I, I enjoy it, being able to watch whatever I want to watch. Well, yeah, and you know, that's what everybody was thinking too when... um. Like when the first Jurassic Park novel came out and the whole idea of bringing extinct creatures back to life, like, oh, yeah, that'll never happen. And now, like, you're seeing it, like, in National Geographic and in different parts of the news where, like, yeah, we technically right now could bring the woolly mammoth back to life. The question is, <laughs> should we? <laughs> and so we, we've got this amazing technology that just what, what – Jurassic Park is, what, 15 years old? It came out in – when did it come out? And did it come out in '93? Yeah, it did. It did. It came out in '93. So something that was just pure science fiction and, and borderline fantasy Wait, in 1993. It's 20, it's 20 years old. It's 20 years old now. Oh You're goodness! Holy so shit! Yep. Ah, <sighs> I remember watching that movie when it was like still kind of new. Yeah, I watched it as a kid, and it scared the almost, almost scared the piss out of me. I think it did scare the piss out of me. I remember having to get up and go to the bathroom like three or four times during that <laughs> movie. <laughs> uh, but, and now, like, yeah, we can't bring back dinosaurs, but we can bring back extinct animals. So, like, hey, who knew that was possible? 
So who knows what we can do tomorrow? You know, I'm just I'm waiting for them to be able to to plant a chip in my brain to where I can watch movies. You know, I can order on demand just by thinking it. That's what I'm waiting uh, for. Ah, you are an American. Just think of the through. potential for porn. Think about it. Oh God. You know, at, when I when I was working at Best Buy and trying to sell 3D TVs, that was a question that came up more often than you than you would think, whether or not people would make porn in 3D. Oh my god. That, that was, apparently was a big selling feature for these things. Like, if people started making pornography in 3D, then they would be more inclined to buy the TV. <laughs> well, at the end of the day, we're all just simple creatures. Come on. So if you said no, they would just walk out sad? Well, and Aww. that's when I would tell them about the, the feature that would... Um, I don't even remember the term now. But it would render anything in 2D in a type of forced... 3D, and like it's kind of it's the same almost thing there. If if you use your imagination a little bit. Oh, God. <laughs> so it would render a big pair of boobs in my face. <laughs> it would render if, that. Yeah, if, if only I could never actually say that with a straight it's like face. Like three but double I, D. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> there it is, folks. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm here all night. Just kidding. <laughs> Try the veal. Ooh, speaking well, of I veal. Yeah. I, I, I know this is kind of a stretch, but you know, someone talked about meat, and I'm drinking a beer. And has what? anybody what? seen or tried this this uh, beer that tastes like meat? No, I did not know that was such a thing. It is a thing. Um, Where is it from? Where is it from? Um, Hold on. Let me look it up. I will tell you where it's from. But it blew my mind. I'm like, really? This this thing is, it tastes. It ta they say it tastes just like um, a type of smoked meat. Would you uh, want that though? The butcher from Blue Jacket Brewery. Hey, yeah, you found it. That's it. That is it. Yeah. Google is your mm. friend. Hello, Google. Does I've, it have I've like little meat chunks in it? Because if it does, that's I'm gonna Ew. change no, subjects, no, 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 no. bro. No, it doesn't. No, it's actually. <laughs> All of a sudden, I feel really queasy. Yeah. It's actually oh, vegan no. friendly. There's there's no meat in it at all. But it tastes just like meat. So it's flavored. Yeah, so they, um... Yeah. So they, or they, or they just smoke... round it up really small. <laughs> no, they, they, they say they smoke the malt over, um... What they call it? They call it half-smoked wood. And it creates that, um... That smoked meaty flavor, even though there isn't actually any meat in it. Um, on the website, um... That's what where I, I pulled up on the website. They actually have a little like disclaimer type thing that says, you know, there is no meat in it. It's it's actually completely vegan friendly, so you don't have to worry about that. It's not gross. It tastes like a but, hot dog delicacy. Hmm. I want to try this thing. Like we all should try this thing. No. No. no we yes. I don't want to puke. Yes. <laughs> dark. Dark. Stop. It's gonna, gonna be, be the, the only craze. one. That, I'm gonna be the only one that drink, tries David. this thing. If it winds up being amazing, you're going to be sorry. So, really. are you, is, is it going to be as good as Double Gold? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know I'm stuck. Gold. I, don't know. I don't care. No. If Indy were here, she would try it. She would try it with me. That girl's daring, man. She's already made a lot of crazy promises at RT, for next RTX. She wants to uh, party with you guys extensively. She's going to party like a rock star. We, uh, Indy Renegade is a oh, rooster teeth... Uh, community member that she where where is she in Canada? I don't even know, guys. Uh, um, she moves around a lot, so she's just from Can Canada land somewhere. And just she Canada has land. never made it south of Boston, I do believe. Oh so. yeah, <laughs> she's gonna she's gonna uh, affair a, an Austin. She will die for the first time. next year. <laughs> is she gonna try to come to RTX? Yeah, yeah, that, that's gonna be her last her last steps before she just completely melts. Is just gonna be like. Into the RTX it's like, building. It's like 110 yeah, degrees. I'm gonna die. When, but you, you, uh, before you moved down permanently, you made trips down to Texas, right? Or oh it? yeah, I had experienced the Texas heat before moving. Okay, she, like I said, ne has never been past Boston in the fall, so she's yeah. gonna. I don't. I mean, I think she said, "Oh, the hottest it's been I've ever experienced is, I don't know, in the, in the like the 70s, I guess." <laughs> So, really? It gets uh, hotter up in Canada than that. Okay. 
I, I may be wrong. Maybe not by much. I smoked but... a lot of pot when I was younger, so my memory kind of just <laughs> lapses. Around. Like, yeah, it may get up to 80 degrees on a really hot day. Yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, she's excited. She's another uh, a Canuck that's going to be braving the Texas heat, so. God, hell, I even live in North Carolina now. I'm originally from Michigan, not that far away from Canada. But when I went to Texas for the first time this year, it's like, holy shit, what's with this humidity? I could not walk anywhere in the city without my shirt sticking to me. It was yeah, really gross. Yeah, I thought gross. Georgia was bad. That, that, that place is worse. So, wait, Ray, was it your first time in Texas at RTX? Yeah, it was the first time meeting David. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't, I mean, I, don't, I know David was the first time, but I meant, what I meant was... That was your first time ever in Texas. Yeah, I haven't left this little corner of the U.S. <laughs> What's it? <gasps> For I'm happy shame. we're bringing you all out of your little places to come to. <laughs> well, you'd be, you won't. You, you, I mean, in the especially in the forum thread, there are uh, everyone's gearing up from different parts of the U.S. and to come to RTX 14. So nice. Well, it'll hopefully be bigger and better. Yeah. Yes. And hopefully there'll be a the forum thread podcast panel. Uh, did, I I I, yeah, I, sure I, I, I went Dream to go take a, I went people. to go take a piss. Did you guys discuss that? I don't know. I don't. I'm not into discussing business. But uh, did y'all make a nah. run with Barbara about that? They did not. <laughs> but uh, pretty we, sure it'll be pretty easy to do. Ah, uh, there you go. We could ar- we could arrange some sexual services. As long as it's a solid write up of the panel submission and everything looks good to go and you guys could handle it, then it'll likely be approved. We'll let Nobod do the application in crayon. What? No. <laughs> we need to make a better impression than that. Jeez. I thought you had standards, Mr. Fusion. Seriously. I do have standards. And I w- I'm going to say working RTX was probably uh, top five in events I've worked. And, uh, oh, awesome. It was, uh, it was a very good experience. I was very, you know, like I, I make the jokes about being an old man, but I have two, two really bad knees. But uh, <laughs> it was worth the ache and, aches and pains I had. Um, it definitely was. It was good meeting everybody, the community members, and you know, I, I can kiss her ass now, right Barbara, now because, because she's on, on the podcast. But um, <laughs> the 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 cast and crew, they're all very, very nice people. Um, oh yes, yeah. you know, God, and I, I, I told these guys after we came back um, that uh, you know I worked in film before, and, and some of the cast and crew from Hollywood are total dick wads. And, of course, yeah. And you know, just you know. The I guess I don't know if you want to call it internet celebrity status you guys have whatever you want to call it but there are a, a fuckload of people that like like all of you and wait 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 stop 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 wait a minute internet celebrity wait Barbara are you considered an internet celebrity I don't know man uh, apparently which is still very hard for me to believe I'm just mm. some kid see and that's <laughs> the thing everyone there is just like yeah I'm just some dude I'm just some girl whatever. You know, I work, I work with a company that I, I, I used to just go on the site and dick around for hours on end, and that's what's cool about it. Like I said, I've worked on film, and I can say some of the cast and crew, and I've worked on conventions, and I've worked in radio with some dickheads. You guys were all lovely to work with. You were all very, <laughs> oh, very you. sweet people, and uh, I really appreciated that. And, and you know, I know there were times where you know some of the guardians, uh, especially the younger guardians, were just like. Oh, where, uh, where, where's Gus? I want to, I want to talk to, uh, just, you know, don't get, o- they were a little overwhelmed, but it's, you guys were overwhelmed too, and it kind of made for a situation where, uh, I, can I talk to Bernie? Now's not a good time to talk to Bernie, guys. Yeah. He's, he's a little busy right now. And it's, it's a complicated weekend, just because you need we guardians are from the guardians so busy. <laughs> yeah, almost. But, um, I mean, I mean, it, they were, they were fine, but, you know, they, you know, you can see Barbara walking in a, a, f- a brisk pace down the hall, and oh, there's Barbara. I'm gonna go. T- just now is not a good time, buddy. Now is not a good time. She's <laughs> heading somewhere. So, but yeah, it, it was the toughest thing for me about RTX is that my favorite thing, absolute favorite thing to do in the world is meet fans and meet people from the community. And running RTX means I have to make sure everything is running. Yeah. So having to balance that and still be available to meet people as much as I want to. It's really difficult, and like there are times where I have to run down the hall, as you say, oh, or go boy. to a, an exhibitor that's having an issue, or yeah. go fix something, and people try to stop me for a picture and autograph, and they say, oh, it'll be quick, it'll be quick, and I'm like, 
I can't. I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, you're really quick as a whole 45 seconds. I can't wait. I've got to run. Like, Literally. Um, run. In the it breaks my heart. In the chat, Michael Lim, uh, 2400. I saw Gus walking around with a radio looking pissed off and tired. Yeah. That... <laughs> yeah. I got to see that, too. I think I told these guys the, the, the funniest moment was uh, there was a technical issue, and we needed a an HDMI slash DVI adapter, like several of them for a, a panel room. And Gus was running around trying to, to coordinate this whole thing. And he walks out of the Guardian area, like the the, the room, the, the the break room, and he's walking out with a walkie-talkie. And these, these, these kids come up. They're like, hey, Gus. And he just puts his hands out like he's parting the Red Sea and just oh. says, not now. And, and they just, uh, on <laughs> cue, like, you know, trained puppies just sat there and looked at him. Aww. And that, you know, yeah. and I still don't understand that mentality of like mobbing the Rooster Teeth guys. I, I've been a fan of of Red vs. Blue since the third season, I think, is when I started watching it. So I, I've been with this on the site for seven years, and like when I saw Gus, he came up um, in one of the lines that I was waiting, and I just said, "Oh, hi, Gus," and let it at that. I didn't have the urge to mob him. That's I don't know. That's it's one of those strange yeah, but crowd mentalities. Put, put yourself, I just can't put yourself in, in their shoes that. You know, this this may be the in their mind the only opportunity that they may get to yeah. meet. We're uh, like Pokemon at RTX. <laughs> <laughs> gotta catch them all. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. I gotta get a pick <laughs> with them all. Uh, well, I am not a Pokemon fan either. I play as Pikachu in Super Smash Brothers, but I'm not a Pokemon fan, so maybe that's why Pika. I just don't understand. I don't understand. Pika, Pika. <laughs> <laughs> Pikachu! But yeah, that, it's a funny mentality that people have at RTX because it's almost like they are there just to collect all the Rooster Teeth staff. They don't care if they get to talk to them or whatever. They just want their autograph and their picture. Maybe and that's what's wrong with it. me. Because I like all the panels I went to that I thought, oh, this will be interesting. Like no one was there. Um, there was this one where they were um, <laughs> they were demonstrating on how to build costumes for cosplaying like really elaborate costumes and it was absolutely fascinating but no yeah. one was there and i think because there was some sort of like signing going on somewhere else and i'm like wow there should be more people yeah. here this is really fascinating i don't even i don't even cosplay and this makes me want to go and build something yeah it, it's too bad that those panels still are pretty low in attendance but rtx is still at a point right now where it's me like mostly rooster teeth fans uh, and we're hoping that it's going to someday turn into just, like, a general gaming and entertainment expo, kind of like PAX is. Well, you know, well, with, with the success of Ruby, I, 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 I kind of think that you're, you're, you guys are definitely steering in that yeah, direction. Yeah, pushed it very it's far off to a good line. start. Yeah, yeah, off to a very good start. No, thank and you. You know, I, I think I mentioned this on one of, our, one of the past podcasts. I don't remember because I tend to drink a lot during these things, but um, – <laughs> talking about how if you look at other social media websites um like what um face facebook is what myspace was and like uh, rooster teeth predates i think it predates um the the myspace anyway i was on on rooster teeth before i was ever on myspace and then migrated over to to facebook but none of those social networks have their own convention. Yeah. Um, they don't. They don't have that sort of fan loyalty and, and fan if they following. They did. We'd outdrink them. Very yeah. Fair. It's like, like what what the Rooster Teeth community has, and like for all all seven years that I've been a part of it, like I, I've loved every minute of it. Even the few years that I, I had to kind of take a hiatus because life was happening, it's like I always came back to it, and it's it's very special. And I was very happy to be able to go to, to RTX this year, and I, I'm hoping to be able to make you know every RTX after this because it's it's an experience that you don't really find anywhere else. I've never been to PAX, so I'm assuming it's kind of similar, but still, it's going to have its Probably own Probably a flavor. lot more packed and less actually getting able to do anything. A lot more body odor. This was, I was about to say a lot PAX. more con funk, yes. Yeah. Yeah. At least everyone at RTX had the decency to read the little disclaimer that begged everyone to wear deodorant. <laughs> well, I have. Uh, well, that was m maybe my doing. Maybe not. <laughs> that might have been you. <laughs> yes. It definitely was, by the way. Like if I'm gonna be running around these hallways like a chicken with my head cut off, hey, you better be smelling good. We had a great smelling convention for what it's worth. No, I've been to many gaming conventions and we smelled awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, just generally so, the uh, the attendees were were. They were very uh, understanding. Like, we need people to move around. Science, you know, this, this, the autograph lines need to move from one room to the other. Oh, yeah. You know, one sta the, the, the main stage is maxed out. Move over to the registration hall where you can watch on the screen. 
people were very accommodating. I mean, of course, you're going to have a few stragglers of people complaining, but for the most part, everyone was very understanding, which I thought That's was when great. when you get to get your bounce on. Yeah, and I've, I've worked a couple conventions, uh, a couple of events at that convention center, and I know at the end of the at the end of the convention you guys were like okay you know we 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 learned a lot from this one too and and we learned what to do and how to make changes but the main i can tell you working that convention center what you guys did was very especially with the guardians help everyone was just wonderful but it was a well-oiled machine because i've worked events there and people just get so fucking lost i mean yeah i've worked a couple of radio events there and i can tell you like uh, you know they they their volunteers were just all over the place and and <laughs> the fact that a lot of these people were community members they were all everyone kind of got a feel for what they needed to do and that was great yeah. no our guardians are probably the smartest group of volunteers i think ever um they're so dedicated to this community and to rooster teeth that i think they took that into consideration whenever they did something so they were a little more responsible and a little more respectable i think yeah. towards everybody um and one of the things, one of the reasons I think Gus likes me so much and why he has me co-direct RTX with him is that I'm very anal when it comes to, <laughs> like, thinking in the mind of an attendee. So I'm just like, this person's uh... going to walk in and they're going to be like, okay, how do I get here? Or where do I find this? Because I've been to conventions and I know the kinds of questions that come up. Yeah. So I spent all year just trying to think about what everyone else is going to experience. People walk in and they're like, "Where are we? You're like, who are we gonna talk to that tells yeah. us where we're supposed to go? Where you are the signs?" You honestly have to what? think in the dumbest way possible, and I'm oh, not God. trying to insult anybody. No, you're not. No, no. You just have to me. think like a five-year-old walked into this place. <laughs> because yeah. you're gonna get a <laughs> question that sounds like it's coming from a five-year-old. Having yep. worked customer service and currently working a form of customer service, I can completely understand <laughs> yeah. where you're coming from. What's Dipshits. too bad Indy isn't Lots on the tonight's podcast because she can attest to that. She works in customer service for Apple, so I'm sure she gets a bunch of calls like that. Yeah, yeah. she's got some horror stories to tell. We're all PC <laughs> people, man. by the way. We, we yeah. yeah. We try to make everything very easy and very accessible to everybody. It's, it was it was a blast for me. I, I like I said, it was it was really fun and. Uh, I only got to attend one panel because I was I was always running around doing other things. But it was probably the best I mean, for me. I really enjoyed that. It was the voiceover panel. And oh yeah, that was great. It was uh, it was it was great to hear them all talking about their experiences in the business. And of course, the best and I, I, I'm they, you know Dark and Chaos and Ray went to a lot of panels, so you guys can attest to this. The most yeah. entertaining part of the panel are the questions from the fans. <laughs> <laughs> they they are really funny a lot of times. Yeah. They really like anytime you can get a lot of crowd interaction, and I know none of you went to the uh, the Bronies panel, but I did, and talk about people that are really into what you're talk what they're talking about up on stage. Like, damn, those were some. Uh, yep. That was the most lively panel I saw as far as like interaction and people like getting ready to jump up and, <laughs> and, and just like make their opinions heard. Uh, it was really funny, and it was it was quite the experience i i hope they do another one next year so i can compare like the progression between last year and and this year or this year and next year sorry i'm already thinking that this year's over <sighs> getting a little ahead of myself yeah i gotta go do not a lot yet, of please. christmas shopping man i gotta go oh let's not talk about christmas shopping i've only got two more paychecks mm -hmm. until that damn christmas oh the good news is though I um, am going to be able to join my family up in Michigan for Christmas this year, awesome. so I'm going to be able to nice. spend Christmas with my, with my grandma. That's cool. I didn't get to I didn't get to see her this year when I went up to visit. So, so you finally got nice. got paid at your new job. Yes. That's cool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can't you hear the relief in my voice? I'll, I'll tell Barbara the story. He paid. used to he used to have a he a Bluetooth headset, and then it uh, I guess it just finally started crapping out. So it sounded like we had a robot on our on the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Well, it was really embarrassing. He started a new job, and he was like, I, "I'm gonna buy a new headset, a new, you know, a plugged-in headset, but I have to get my, I gotta get paid in my new job, gotta get paid." And then he, he, uh, I guess, he, what would you do? Count the, the the change jar, and you had enough to buy it. Yeah, <laughs> because okay, so I was supposed to get paid um, on like two weeks after I started it with the training, 
but something happened on their end and they're like look we're not going to be able to you're not going to get paid this week you're just going to be put onto the next pay period which is two weeks from now i'm like shit i can't keep on doing this podcast with this this damn microphone that's making me sound like i'm a robot from hell so i had this uh from when i worked at carmax i had this change jug from um you know i'd find change just lying around everywhere because you know most people just don't pick it up i guess so I just had, over the two years that I worked there, I just collected these stray coins that had just been lying around on the ground. And, like, I wound up cashing it in and was able to buy this new headset. So um, moral of the story, pick up coins and put them in a jar. And you'll be able to buy your own headset. Yeah. Sweet. And Especially with walking around in England and everything was worth twice as much, you could find, like, a couple of coins on the ground and then you have a meal after just like one coin especially with a two pound two pound coin <coughs> sure <laughs> yeah. well guys we are at an hour and 20 minutes and some change so i think it's about time yeah. to start wrapping this up crazy it's been a yeah the time just flies by this has been so great thank you so much for joining us tonight barbara oh no problem thank you for having me everyone I had no idea you were an internet, actually considered an internet celebrity, so now I feel like extra special that I got to talk to a real life internet celebrity. So, <laughs> well, mazel tov, with everyone. Her, so, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be too impressed. <laughs> well, I got a picture with your boyfriend, so nana nana boo boo. Oh. Aww. <laughs> and he looks scared in that photo, by the way. He was probably intimidated. Well, he's taller than me. I'm not a tall guy yeah i gotta say yeah. <laughs> but you got that whole mexican thing going on and... what is this mexican thing racist go ahead explain mexicans uh -oh. are scary you know they've got they, they drive those cars with jesus on them and oh, they're short and they, they well you're better than the gays oh yeah <laughs> better to be latino than a gay is that what you're saying? I don't know. Yeah. If you can, if you're a gay Latino, that's pretty sexy, actually. Oh shit! Look oh, up. God. You should look up. Ray, you. You would see be able what to you started, Ray? Appreciate this. Look up some <laughs> Latino gay porn and tell me that it's not hot. Okay. It's not hot. I'm not gonna look at it, but it's not hot. <laughs> you're straight. You don't count. It's... I'm talking to Ray here. Aren't you, know, you with an is... Asian man though, to their dark? Yeah. He likes <laughs> to diversify his portfolio. Come on. <laughs> Ken's actually the first uh, first Asian guy I've ever dated, though. Actually, usually I, I had um, I, I've dated three black guys, uh, one two white guys, and one Asian. So, yeah. And a that's... partridge. And a partridge. You haven't quite got all the colors of the rainbow yet, though. I, I was going to, you know, get all the colors, but then I found Ken, and he was so awesome, and I decided, eh, Aww. I can, I, I don't need to try Aww. the other colors because I found one that fits. Uh, there's so much there. <laughs> yeah, I'm just not going to go there. Yeah, tonight. and we're going to end on that uh, note well, before I, I really uh, embarrass I myself. I wanted to say, um, in sort of the tradition, uh, we can end. Um, Shadowhound has been giving me a little, little list of questions, and I see two that are worth asking. Okay, go and for it. So one of they're both for Barbara. One of them is, how long did Jen Taylor take to record her intro? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Apparently... She nailed it on the first take, according to really? Miles and Carrie. But they had her for like an hour. So they, <laughs> they kind of just did the thing where they're like, uh, now do it again faster. <laughs> and they just have to do like different variations of it. But do I it think harder. they used the first take. Do it faster. Do it faster. stronger. Good, good. Harder, better, faster, stronger. And the next question? The next one is. Do you know if Miles is writing the next season of RVB? I believe he is, and I think he's already started on it too. So that should be good. It was. There should be. I will. You know, I wanted to say he did an, He hit it out of the park this year. Oh yeah, Miles had the advantage uh, of being a big Red vs. Blue fan before coming to Rooster Teeth, so he mm -hmm. understood the way the characters spoke to each other and the the sense of humor that the show had. So I think he was pretty much the perfect pick for it. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, there, there's yeah. It's always a good move to pick a fan to continue on something that he, he admires. Well, I mean, yeah. a talented you can, fan. You never go wrong with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, if, if, if we let Nobod write a script, come on, think of how that's going to turn out. 
He's not even here to defend <laughs> himself. So suddenly, so Sarge pulls out the dubstep table. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't even want. No, no, I'm picturing this in my head now. It's a disaster. There's really Stop bad it. dubstep in the background. Yeah, that would happen. Okay, All wrap right. it up, folks. All right, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Those of you that are watching us on Twitch, and those of you in the future that will be listening to us when this is released <laughs> on YouTube and for download. Uh, we will see you all again next week, and.